it's Justin Woodall with Keller Williams Realty, your trusted Athens real estate advisor. And if you've ever been in through your neighborhood or down your street, you've probably noticed that some homes sell very quickly within a few days or a few weeks, while others seem to sit on the market for months and even years sometimes. So why is that? Why do some homes sell quickly while others just can't seem to attract a buyer? And I found myself coming in behind other agents oftentimes who have had a house on the market for six months or a year. The home seller is confused and discouraged and frustrated. And being able to really come in and figure out what was the reason that house didn't sell the first time and helping to advise that, uh, that person. So, uh, and, and last year we were able to sell 70% of our listings in less than two months and 80% in less than three months. So we've kind of done this long enough. We, we kind of know what, what we need to do to get homes sold. And so what I want to do is today is just talk about a few of the reasons why homes may sit on the market for a long time. Um, the first reason is simply that the homes don't show well. Now they may not show well for several reasons. It could be the condition. Uh, maybe it needs paint, maybe it needs carpet, maybe it's just an overall bad condition, maybe it's in disrepair. Uh, if a home is in disrepair, it will sell, but it's not going to sell for top dollar or even market value. Uh, landscaping is also a big piece of uh, what I would consider showing well. The home needs to show its best uh, because there's a lot of competition. Even though we're coming out of a, a bad market and the market's getting better for sellers, buyers still have a lot of options and they have a lot of choices. And if the home doesn't fit their needs or they feel like they're going to have to spend some money or efforts to get it what it should be, then they're going to move on and, and look for the house that's moving ready, generally speaking. Um, another thing to consider would be the price. Uh, homes that are priced at the market uh, will generally sell a lot quicker than homes that are overpriced. And sure, you know, a buyer can bring an offer no matter what the price is, but when buyers find homes that meet their needs, they're going to make the offer on the ones that are more reasonably priced first. Um, so unless there's some unusual or rare circumstance, a buyer will typically uh, look for that best deal on the initial asking price. And of course they may try to negotiate it down some, but that's the ones they're going to go after first. Um, and then you, if you've got a good agent that with good negotiating skills, they'll help to negotiate that offer up to a place that works for you. Another reason homes seem to sit on the market for a long time is just that they simply aren't marketed well. And that kind of comes down to the agent that's responsible for it and what are they really doing to market the home. Uh, how, does it, how is it portrayed online? How are the remarks? Is, is the information even accurate online? Uh, so there's a lot of little things like that sometimes that we, we need to look at. Um, you want the listing to show its best online with great quality photos. Staging is very important as well, but when it looks good online, that's what encourages buyers to make, make the next step and actually go in and visit the home. And that's when that condition and, and the home staging and things like that really, really shine. But before you can get a buyer into your home, it's got to be marketed appropriately and displayed properly online. So those are just a few things to consider. There are other variables as well uh, that sometimes I look at with sellers, but uh, if you or anyone you know is having trouble selling a house or thinking about selling a house and we can do anything to help you, please let us know.